Hello students. Today we will be learning the basics of formal letter writing. To begin with, let us first understand what a letter is, the different types of letters and the objective of writing these different types of letters. Letters are one of the most important and popular means of communication in spite of the prevalence of emails and text messages. Letters are in fact a written message conveyed from one person to another via a post. Most of the important official and commercial correspondence is done through letters though now emails have become more popular. Children, letter writing is in fact an essential skill. Letters are of two types, informal letter and formal letter. Informal letter is written for a personal communication to a close friend or to a close family member. Such a letter has a casual and an emotional tone. Formal letter is written for a business or a professional purpose with a specific objective in mind. Such letters are written in impersonal style. These letters use simple language that is easy to understand and to read. Such letters are written to the government department or they are business related. Formal letters are of the following four types. Business or official letters for making inquiries, asking for information, replying to inquiries or giving information, for placing orders, for registering complaints or for making requests and appeals. Then we have the letter to the editor for giving suggestions on an issue of public interest, for expressing views on an issue. Next we have letters to the principal, school or college authorities regarding admission, regarding leave application, regarding requirement or suitability of course. And the fourth type of formal letter are letters for job applications. Now let us understand the format of writing a formal letter. We start the formal letter by writing the sender's name and address. This has to be written on the left top hand corner of the sheet. Refrain from using any punctuation marks. Then after leaving a line, the date on which the letter is written has to be mentioned. Avoid writing the date with hyphen or a slash. Then again, after leaving a line, the receiver's name and address has to be written. The next step is to write the subject. That is, what is the letter about? It should be short and to the point. Next is writing the salutation. We start the salutation of a formal letter by writing sir or ma'am or dear sir, dear ma'am. Children, please note that the subject and the salutation can be interchanged. That is, the salutation can be written before the subject or the subject can be written before the salutation. The next step of the format of the formal letter is writing the body of the letter. This is the most important section of the letter as it contains the actual message. We will discuss the body of the letter in detail in our next slide. After the body of the letter, then after leaving a line at the extreme left hand side, the complimentary close is written. This complimentary close should be polite. Example, yours faithfully or yours sincerely. Please note, no apostrophe should be written in yours. The last step is to write 
the sender's name, signature and designation. Please note children that these days no punctuation marks are used at the end of the line while writing the address, the date, the salutation and the subscription. Besides this, everything begins at the left corner. Hope you have understood how to write the format of a formal letter. Now let us discuss the body of the letter in detail. This is the most important part of the letter as it contains the actual message. It should be written in three paragraphs. Paragraph 1 should mention the issue that prompted you to write the letter. In case of the letter to the editor, it should introduce the problem. For example, we should begin with by writing, through the columns of your esteemed newspaper, I would like to highlight the problem of, now mention the problem that prompted you to write the letter. Paragraph 2 should convey all the necessary details. In case of a complaint letter, it should mention the specific facts like when and where the goods were bought, the invoice number, etc. Then the problem should be mentioned very clearly and logically. In case of a letter to the editor, it should mention the cause of the problem or issue and the effects of the problem or issue. The paragraph 3 in case of a complaint letter should state what action you expect the company to take. Use expressions like, I look forward for a positive response. In case of a letter to the editor, it should state a suggestion or two for solving the problem of issue and then end with a positive tone. For example, I hope the concerned authorities will take necessary steps to resolve this issue. Children, a few examples of formal letters have been mentioned here for your convenience. Kindly go through them. The first one is a letter of complaint. This is an example of a letter for placing order. Please note that the order is placed in a tabular form. Next we have a letter to the editor. Kindly go through this. This is an application for a transfer certificate addressed to the principal of a school. Kindly go through this. I hope by now you all have understood how to write formal letters. Thank you.